Hello, Eric again, Lone Star Acoustics. Today I want to give you an overview of one of the systems that we provide to our clients, and that is one by Cambridge Sound Management. And I'm going to unbox the control module here. This is the QT100 control module show you what's inside and also I'm going to, to show you how it hooks up to the backbone of the QT system which are the uh, QT emitters. So uh, let's get started. Okay so let's get started unboxing the QT100 by Cambridge Sound Management also by AMP now. Uh, so with the QT100 it comes in in this box and we're just going to go ahead and open it up and I'll show you everything that's inside. So when you open it up you'll notice first there's an installation and operations guide. Uh, this goes through all of the different settings that you're going to uh, need to have at your disposal both with the volume of the sound masking as well as the volume of the auxiliary uh, music source if you choose to have background music along with your sound masking. So this just tells you how to adjust all of those different settings. Also within the kit, there's an installation checklist. So with this uh, bright yellow booklet, it gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to install the QT Pro system by Cambridge. With that said, Lone Star Acoustics does have a network of installation partners around the United States and Canada that we can send out to install your system. So we do offer turnkey solutions, but sometimes if it's a smaller job uh, and there's a facilities uh, staff that we're working with or an IT staff, they choose to, to install it themselves. And we're here for step-by-step -step guidance, technical support as you do your own installation as well. But we also provide those turnkey services. So let me show you what else is in the box. We'll go ahead and get down to the to the one you've been wanting to see, and that's the QT100 control module. So it comes in this little blue bag here. And as you can see, it's a very simple uh, control module, but very modern looking. It's got an LCD display uh, that shows the masking volume, the auxiliary music volume, and you can see there's just four buttons on here. There's a, there's a uh, plus and a minus to adjust the volume level, and then there's a, a forward and back just to toggle through the different uh, settings for both the sound masking as well as the auxiliary music source. Um, I'll come back to this in just a second, but I want to show you what else is in the box and then I'll actually uh, hook this up and show you how it works with the QT emitters. So uh, also within the box you've got your mounting screws and your anchors so you can hit a, a plywood board in your IT room or you can go into the drywall. That's all ready to roll. Um, and then we've got the the hole saw here. So within this box is a two and five eighths inch hole saw and that's the exact size hole that you need to cut into your ceiling tile in order to slip the speakers through there. So all you'll do is, is uh, get your hole saw out, which we include. You'll get your cordless drill. Uh, you'll go ahead and just plop it in there, secure it on, and you are ready to install your sound masking speakers in your ceiling tiles. Typically what we do is we harvest the tiles that we're gonna install the speakers in. Um, in an open office environment, it, it depends on the ceiling height, but for a standard nine foot or 10 foot ceiling, the speakers are gonna be installed about 10 feet apart each, so a 10 by 10 grid pattern. Um, so then we'll harvest the tiles, draw an X on the back of one of the tiles, put the drill bit right on the middle of that X, drill the hole in, and then slip the speaker through. So we got the hole saw for you so that you don't have to worry about going to the store for anything special. Um, so we got the hole saw, and then the last component within this kit is the power supply. And um, that's the beauty of, of this system is this is what powers the entire system. This is a LEED certified green spec listed product for low energy consumption. So it uses 20 times less power than the plenum based systems out there. Now when I say plenum based, there's another video that I'll, that I'll link at the, at the end of this video that shows the difference between the direct field and the plenum based system. This is a direct field system and it uses 20 times less power than the other system, the plenum based systems. So uh, with the control module, there's four tabs and you simply pop these tabs up and it's, this is gonna allow us to hook up the power supply uh, onto the back of the controller and also run the cabling. 
So you just pop these little tabs, the little back panel comes up off, and check this out. I'm gonna see if I can put it up here. Look at the top in the middle there. Do you see that little level? Uh, so literally there's a level included so that as you're mounting this with the with the screws you can make sure that it's that it's level on your wall. So uh, they've thought of everything when it comes to the ease of installation of this particular sound masking system. So this mounts on the back wall. Uh, hook up your power source to the back of the QT100. So simply it's got this barrel connector. Plugs into the back. And then as you can see, and I'm going to come up here so you can see a little closer, it's got two RJ45 ports. And that's where the, the cabling will run from the back of the control module out to the first speaker. Now this is a single zone control module. What that means is everything hooked up to this particular control module is going to be at one volume. Now we can adjust the volume per speaker and I'll show you in just a second, uh, on, the, on each speaker you can adjust it down three, six, or nine decibels, but as a general rule, everything on here is gonna be set at the same volume level. So even though there's two runs, you can't control these independently. The, everything will be controlled uh, as one volume. Now, the QT300 is our unit that if you've got multiple zones. That'll be a three zone control module. And then we have a QT600, which is a six zone control module. But for this QT100, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get one of the speakers out and I'll show you how simple it is to, to hook up. So the speakers, they come in a, in a four pack and I'm going to just take one of these out right here. And as you can see, it comes with uh, some tape on the back and that's just to keep dust out of this RJ45 port. But you pull the, pull the tape off and you can see there's the RJ45 connectors. So with, with this system, we also include the cabling. So this is standard category cabling. Uh, this particular cable is a Cat3. Uh, we don't need the performance of anything better, but if you've got Cat5 laying around you, and need to run a custom cable, you can, you can use Cat5. It, it just needs to be a category ready cable. But we include all of the cabling you need even if you have longer runs, just we can design the system for you and specify the amount of cabling. Maybe you need a 50 foot cable to go from this conference room to this conference room or maybe a 75 or 100 footer. We can make all those cables for you. Okay, so going back to the control module. So again, here's the back of the control module. We've got a category cable with the RJ45 connector, 568B wiring pattern. It just plugs into one of the ports. There it goes, plugged it in, run the cable through the ceiling all the way to the speaker. And then if you, if you look closely on the back of the speaker, there's an input and an output jack. The easiest way to, to see where you're hooking it up is the input jack is where this little tab is, this little seismic wire tab for our folks on the West Coast. But literally you plug this in, you'll hear the click, and there you go. You've got your first speaker hooked up. Then from there, it follows a daisy chain pattern. So we go from the output of this speaker to the input of the next speaker. And then from the output of that second speaker to the input of the third speaker, so on and so forth. Now, this control module might be small, but it packs a powerful punch. This little guy right here can cover up to 12 thousand square feet. So this can power 120 of these QT emitters. So again, this is a single zone control module capable of covering up to 12,000 square feet. Uh, typically we place them on a 10 foot by 10 foot grid in the open office areas. If they're private office areas, we've got calculations to determine how many go in there, but a minimum of two per room. Um, but that is the QT100 control module. And I I hope this was helpful. Um, again, this, this particular control module, um, you can install it yourself and we can include everything that you need from the custom cabling, 
uh, down. We, we've included the whole saw, the power, the cabling, everything that you need. So uh, we'll be glad to, to get a system designed for you. Uh, or if you'd like to just purchase one of the kits and, and install it yourself, you sure can. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. If you have, I would sure appreciate it if you would like the video. Uh, maybe even subscribe to the channel because uh, what we're going to start doing is we're posting videos regularly, a minimum of once a week, but we're also going to be showing you actual installations that we do. So uh, I've got one coming up next week that we'll do uh, an installation for you so that you can see everything going on. So this is Eric, Lone Star Acoustics. If you need us, give us a call. We're here, 972-787-0808. Sales at LoneStarAcoustics.com.